in this video I'm going to show you how to export bank rules and and then uh, how to import um, the same bank rules to a new company all right so, so I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks online the first thing you want to do is uh, uh, before you uh, import bank rules you may want to uh, first import the vendor list okay so next to uh, Explore the vendor list from your existing company. A uh, couple of ways to do it. So this is my demo one. So, so I want to export uh, from this company to another company. So a couple of ways to do it. Easy way to just go to reports and then select uh, vendor list in here. Vendor contact list. So this is the one you want to export. So in here, this you can just export to uh, Excel. Uh, you can export export to Google uh, uh, here right now, but basically to export to Excel. Okay, so once you do that, basically, I, you know, I have already done that. It's, I saved it on uh, uh, my uh, uh, desktop folder. Okay, once once that's done, just go to the bank rules. So from banking and select rules, and under these are the uh, rules I have. Not that many only uh, 11 okay but in your case it could be uh, you know 100 you know uh, so this next to new rule this there is the export rules in here this want to export this one and then import to a new company so export and it gives you in here this is the company that you want okay all right I'm just gonna save this I'm just gonna save this to a place where you want. Okay, save this wherever you want. I'm just going to save this to my desktop in here, right here, desktop. And then uh, this is the bank rule one. Okay, so it's in here. And now you go to the new company. So this is a new company. And uh, so when you want to uh, import the vendor list, so normally I've already imported this, that's why you, you, it's in here. If you have if it's a blank one to new company under vendors, you will see import vendors. So now in this case you just need to go to the next new vendor is an import vendor. You will see exactly like this on the vendors uh, front page, you know. So right now I already have these uh, vendors. So that's why you don't see it. But you can still uh, import from here. It, it looks exactly like this. Like this, you know. And next. So it's very easy. Super fast. Okay, so now we want to import that uh, uh, import the uh, uh, the rules my navigation bar is a little bit different it's a new one so but underneath transaction you will see rules so rules and next to rule in here import rules so this is the one you want to import to a new company okay so this is the one you want let's see what happens next okay so it's all in here Next, it's, looks like it's all in here. Okay. Okay. In this case, uh, uh, in the chart of accounts, I don't have uh, all these uh, account exactly the same account category. So, you know, it's, it's, it, it looks like you, we also need to uh, match the chart of accounts or just create from here so this is the one for the travel okay let's see here let's see if I can find travel there we go travel so travel so you may have to do something like this for a bunch of things telephone all right, so this is we have utilities in here, repairs. 
repairs and maintenance, automobile, vehicles. Okay, I have another repairs and maintenance in here. Okay, and independent contractor, independent contractors, contract level here, say. Okay, and then uh, uh, you don't need the uh, services because I'm not using the classes on this one. You know, you can add it. Uh, Let's just say, uh, let's say whatever it's in here, service. Overhead. And then installation. Okay, it's pretty easy. Then I go to lo locations one, I'll just put it away. LA and we go on to San Diego. Okay, so that's San Diego. Save. So now you can import it. Right? So whenever you import this in some, some of these, if the chart of accounts, they don't have they don't match or classes if if, if it's not uh, enabled, then you will see same thing with the track uh, location too. But you can just add it from here. So import it. There we go. You got your eleven rules. Took a while, but it did import. Eleven rules was successfully imported. And finish it. So now, so I'm on a new company. So it's exactly the same one. So right here, see, this is the new company, and it imported from the old company. Old company right here. Okay. So that's the focus. So let's import the vendor list before importing bank rules, and then. Export bank rules, banking on the dashboard, banking rules. Click the arrow next to the new rule and select export rules. Save the ex exported file in your, your downloaded folder someplace. And go to a new company that you want to import bank rules. And you import bank rules, same place. Dashboard, banking, rules, click the arrow next to new rule and select import rules. Thank you for watching. Be sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels.